The sharp tank. Yes. <laughs> no jumper. The sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. Yes, sir. And today, I have one of my, I consider a friend. Yes. I consider her one of my friends. Um, I have Cherie DeVille in the building, ladies and gentlemen. She actually, and, and this, this woman I've actually got the chance to interview before. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I, I knew about you then, but I feel like I know so much more about you now mm-hmm. to be able to sit down so with more. you. And kinda, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, yeah. because I've actually followed mm-hmm. the story. Like, I'm like, oh shit, she really was. Who but she you said did she your was. research before that I first did. one, too. I was I impressed. I did. You know but what you're I doing. I feel like now there's Personal. so much more. Yeah. And there's so much yeah, yeah. more to you now. You know what I mean? Like, me seeing all the awards mm-hmm. and things like that, you know, for the, for the viewers that know. But for the ones that don't know, she is America's stepmom of, to me, you are number one. Oh, thank you. I, I don't appreciate think there's that. anybody that's I appreciate with that. you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest before we get into it. I'm like, I talk to a lot of, you know, sure. pro- yeah, you do. women that are in the mm-hmm. industry. And, you know, I always find a way you always come up in conversation. That's because I've been in forever. They're like, I know this one girl, she's been in forever. <laughs> it's Cherie. Yeah. But you, um, it, it, I feel like your content and the way that you push is still so new. You know well, what I'm saying? I'm always feel, trying new. something different, you know, because I don't want to bore myself either. Like, yeah. if I'm bored, the fans are going to be bored. Right. So I want to be excited about the content I put out. I want right. to, like, feel inspired and have fun and, like, right. see what all the people are doing and get ideas, you know? Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Think it's, I think it's cool because, yeah, there's never really a dull moment with Cherie. Like, even, you know, I watch a lot of your IG movements and posts <laughs> and just some of the sh- that you're into. I mean, you have tasteful pictures. You'll get the pictures, but it's the goofy shit that I'm you I'm such do. a ner- I'm a shameless nerd. Listen, so in junior high school I did cheerleading, mm-hmm. and then once I hit high school, you had to choose. You could either be a cheerleader or you could be in the marching band. You couldn't do both at once. And I chose the marching band and I don't regret it for one second, but like that is the level of nerd that I was. Well, there Yes, I sir. Mean, <laughs> you playing trumpets then playing on trumpets yeah. now. Yeah, well, I it mean. was the flute, and it does. You know what I mean? Like, I like mean. you get that tongue work. It trained me. I didn't realize how well the flute was training me for my future career. Wow. But let me tell you something about flute articulation and tongue movement. Yeah. Flautists, <laughs> A-plus for in my humble opinion. <laughs> A-plus. <laughs> when you uh, started playing for, what, like, ninth grade? Was that when you probably, probably high oh. school? Oh. Uh, well, you know, I played like the recorder in fifth grade. I think yeah. I was playing the flute by I don't know twelve, Middle something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's yeah. when you'd go to band class. Exactly. Yeah, I wonder what Ex- you were, you were in doing the band? in band. Uh, I actually was in. Oh, what would you play? I played um, the French horn. That's a March. Awesome I instrument. I was good at it, but I left it alone. Did you? Yeah, just. Did, could you play it all now? I haven't played in years. Oh man, that's I, such I a cool instrument. I probably couldn't hold a note on it now. I bet I you mean, could. I bet it'd be like riding a bike. We're gonna have get to get right together and yes. do one of your silly do videos so. yeah. and be like, today, Shark <laughs> plays today. the French horn. <laughs> we'll do a duet, the first flute French horn duet in history. <laughs> would go viral for we'll absolutely. Play like Mary had nothing. a little lamb in the or something. I don't oh know. I don't God. know. Do you, do you know how viral that? <laughs> Would go for absolutely nothing. I'm here for, for it. For nothing. Here for we could Just, do a little marching routine, all nerdy. Man, I'm here for it. You, <laughs> hey, I have to. I have to speak on it. You were just recently at AVN. Sure was. Tried to catch up with you. It's obviously my Someone fault. Someone didn't text me back. I'm not going to say hit me back. who. Hey, all right. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'm let's teasing go ahead. You. Let's let's unpack. <laughs> You, I you I hit you up first. I yeah. was the one yeah. that I initiated, mm-hmm. so I was mm-hmm. the initiator. Yep. I hit her Love up it. first. And um, like she, I think she hit me back like a day later because she's cracking in Vegas. Like it it's hard was. to check her phone. Yeah. What's going on? But then you'd hit me back and you were like, yeah, where you at? Yeah, where are you? I didn't even <laughs> see it. I got caught in the mix. But I'll tell you this. It was a, it was a beautiful week. Fun. It was it's, a beautiful week. It's Well, Vegas is already like overstimulating. Yeah. Then you add like every and content creator and director yeah. and pot. Like, it is fun. It was. It was it definitely experience. It was yeah. definitely an experience. What was your experience like this last AVN? 
Well, I got spoiled so hard at this last AVN because I'm one of the Brazzers contract girls Tell us now. Tell a little bit about it. And they do. They Brazzers is I the be I, I have, but this is my first like big AVN signing for them. Like right. like VIP to everything, right, first right. into all the parties, <laughs> really good seats at the award show. Like they really hooked us up, mm. and it felt like I finally really felt like like a princess. You know what I mean? It was yeah. really, really you nice. You enjoyed yourself. Yeah. I enjoy Maybe too much. I yeah. probably slept like eight hours the whole week. Like total. Wow. Yeah. Because, you know, they have you up early in hair and makeup. Yeah. You're signing all day. Maybe you take a nap or maybe you shoot some content. Right. And then you got to go to the parties that night. Otherwise, why are you there? Right. Rinse and repeat, you know? I'll, I'll tell you this. And why I believe you is because it seems like, because my experience there, I think this was my second... This was my second AVN. Yeah. So, you know, I find the experience, it's more its more fun than the awards. Like, you just got to go around. There's it's so much stuff fun. going on at the time. It's not just, the awards are cool. Yeah. Like, don't get it messed up. The awards are nice. They're it's, nice. It gets, gets to honor people like Oh, and yourself. Shensia, she's like one of my, I, do you know, that? did you know that artist, Shensia, before the award show performance? You know, I didn't. Did she perform at the all-white party? Woo, no, she didn't. Keep... She was on stage at the AVN, and she... I love her music, but she didn't even sing my favorite song of hers, which yeah. is Blessed. I mean, yeah. she's just this amazing Jamaican artist. No, I should have. I, free bird? No, I don't feel like that's the move. I don't feel like that's the like. She's the artist. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need me being like, you know what I want? Like, nobody yeah. cares. Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I said, I think that it was, um, the awards are fine. The yeah. awards are dope, you know, um. But I think it was more the parties and just it everybody kind of coming together. Yeah. Like, I didn't even, I was supposed to go to some all-white party. I didn't even make it because I just got stopped at the bar. Like, Fine. And everybody's there. Like, Honestly, so. the all-white party, it's it's always good, but it was probably my least favorite party of the party. So, like, you yeah. didn't miss the best one. Yeah. Yeah, like I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. felt like I did. I mean, because I like all-white. I wear a lot of white. So I said, You still it. got to wear your outfit. Yeah. I'm sure you still got to look Looks, amazing. Look damn good. See? Look done. Damn good. You did it. Absolutely. You did it. You wore that outfit and you look good doing it. Everyone thought you went to the white party. Look damn They're like, good. that man just came from the white party. Man, and they can <laughs> smell me walking through that motherfucker. Smells like money and success and no shame. And weed. And you drow like a motherfucker, <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> What's been going on? Talk to me. I've, I've, oh I've, I'm God. curious. I've been, because I've been watching, and I'll be honest with you. I said, this woman. You and your fucking friends. Mm -hmm. Y'all spend My money squad. on the dumbest shit. We do. And I'm being real. I'm like, this girl got so much money, don't even know what the fuck to do with it. Do you like, want to know the dumbest thing I bought? It's not even, okay. So I did. Uh, You're a chronic Amazon shopper. I am. Well, and everything. Just <laughs> internet. Just give me the whole internet. Yeah. So, you know. You, you might not, but you know the Dungeons and Dragons movie came out yeah. recently? Yeah. So I also yeah. play Dungeons and Dragons in my real life. So I went to the Ren Fair recently yeah. and shopped. I definitely spent at least $1,000, probably more than $1,000, which is obscene, purchasing what in my mind would be the replica of my current cleric's outfit, and then I shot a porn in it. So that shit's a write-off, my friend. Talk your that is shit. a write-off. <laughs> I bought a staff. It has crystals on it. Yo, I went I full saw nerd. You dress full... all the way the I, fuck up in it. Times ten. I, the, I think the craziest <laughs> shit. I'm gonna. This probably gonna rank in your top three. Oh, I can't wait. The dumbest shit I saw you buy was the RDD two. Oh. Fucking the giant ass Lego. Set. I love that thing. I'm. I have. have that you put is it not even yet? the only. He's like halfway together, but I have an X-Wing that's put together. Yeah. I have a Bowser that's put together. I have a Venom that's put together. Just, yeah. Why? I don't know. Why not? It probably but you right. know what? It, you know what I did to what? get that as a write-off? What? I did my fucking Instagram Live. So I yeah. started building that thing on Instagram Live. Proof in the pudding. Now that's a write-off, too. Proof in the pudding because you actually recorded <laughs> I did yourself it. doing it. Because I recorded it, so myself using utilizing it, it as a prop for work. Yes, sir. Damn. Yes, sir. Look, so I would like, rather like stupid buy shit stupid pays shit. Yeah. Think, look, you got you got to give X amount of money to Uncle Sam every year, mm. right? So you can choose to buy some shit for your business, right? Make money, make amazing content, dress up your all your friends as Power Rangers, and do a gangbang. You could do that. 
You could do that, or you could give it to Uncle Sam, and I'm going to do. Have you done the, that? Yes, I'm going to do that Power Ranger gangbang every time before I give that money to Uncle Sam. <laughs> Every time I'm going to choose a Power Ranger gangbang. You did make sense with that when I asked you <laughs> earlier because you were like, and not even the the Power Ranger <clears throat> gangbang. You're like, <laughs> you you definitely um, you you made sense when you were like, you know, it's all write offs. You were like, I'm yeah. just trying to like, you were like, I rather me spend it on myself, and they know I spent it on myself, and this is legal. Right. What you're doing? I mean, because if you're broke, yeah, you probably shouldn't be buying <clears throat> everyone you know Already an authentic. And right. Shit. Right. But life size at a at like your income, you got a tax bill. Yeah, and so you could buy amazing mics, stuff for the studio, yeah. the rent for the studio. That's a write off, and have sure. this amazing space the way you want it. For sure. Or you could give it to the fucking government. <sighs> Who wants to do that? Nah. You know, you're probably you one this, of the this only hot little people. Pillow. You you know what's so <laughs> crazy is because you're probably one of the only people that can probably sit here and firmly say that and not get audited. Hey, I swear to God, Look, like, a black I don't man even like fuck myself around. saying, like, hey, yeah. I can't pay, hey, screw the government, hey, I'd rather not, yes. I'm going to spend my money on me and I'm not give it to you. I'm going to buy lightsabers, Uncle Sam. You know what's so cold? I don't think Uncle Sam would mind you spending a couple bucks. Yeah, hey. not, especially if you don't put it in your butt, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Sam loves it if you put it in your butt, hey, and it's really. I wish I could get off some of the shit that you be saying, because they would scorn me. Like, You'd be, be over. over. It would be They'd over. They'd be like, audit times three, no jumper podcast. Hey, dumbest <laughs> shit you bought this year. The dumbest Last shit I bought. Last year was crazy. RDD2 did this year. I feel like Ooh. he was, that was insane. I have, okay, do you know what like a Theragun is? You know those therapy massagers? Yeah, yeah, the one okay. that fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so a friend of mine, and they're really expensive, but again, How much right off. How much did one about Ryan? This with the dildo attachment and other oh attachments God. was like Surely. at least 500 bucks. But let me tell you something. Can you imagine? I have a th video of it. A Theragun. You know how hard those go. With they the have dildo settings on them. And the Yes. I took that out of setting four. Four out of four. Wow. Four out of four. I'm sure your fans are just eating I almost, this up. I They're just like, sitting in front of the I was camera like right now. They're crying sitting there like, yeah. and squirting and crying again. And then I took a nap. And it's you a write-off. It's gotta be, it's gotta be <laughs> fucking crazy. And that's even more insane. It's gotta be crazy to see because you are a very emotional woman. I, yes, if I should say I so myself. You're a crier when you get fucked. I, yeah, I love it. It just brings up all the feels. What was it that I believe, shout out to Howard Stern, by the way, shout if he's out watching to the this. Stern man. Howard, yeah. Howard mm -hmm. Stern, had, I believe he had spoke on you. He about... did. And I didn't even listen to it live, but all my friends the next morning are like, oh, I heard you. You know, Howard Stern was talking about yeah. you. Howard Stern was talking about yeah. you. So he was talking about how much he liked my AVN uh, acceptance speech, mm -hmm. where I basically thanked the audience. I was like, thank you to all the stepsons and stepdaughters who let You're me sick. suck their dicks You're and eat their pussies sick. and You're blah, 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 sick. blah. Right? But like, <laughs> come on, this is a porn award. What do you think I'm getting this award right. for? <laughs> Sucking dick and eating pussy. Like, let's not let's not mince our words, I right? I feel it. I feel it. I feel so it. So he feel said, it. and again, I don't, it's not even a compliment, but I take it as a compliment. Most yeah. people will probably be pissed. He goes, yeah. he goes, Shri Deville <laughs> is the Meryl Streep of incest. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I, it's not a compliment, but you know what? You know what, Mr. Stern? I took that as a compliment because that a made burn, my heart happy. Listen, he don't though, know who he was talking listen, about. Listen, though, though that's I'm like, why. I'm like, thank you, right. Meryl. First of all, is a goddess <laughs> amongst women, and I have done my ferrofocest. So, like, you know, wow. well, you know the step focest. Like, obviously, no one's having sex with anyone they're related to, but it's just such it a happens? popular in the world. Not in the world, but do you think it's happened? Is there? Been not any porn, porn that's ever been put out that's actually been a not family by a professional member family member. Not by a professional company, but Lord knows what people are putting on the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Who the fuck knows? I mean, I feel like you're like my porn encyclopedia. So yes, I yes. Ask you, like, do you yes. think that hey, shit's do out? You think, <laughs> I mean, I think Give everything's out. Look, like, there's the craziest shit. I, I mean, you can see someone on Reddit, which I didn't even know was legal. Fuck they have Reddit. a whole not safe for life category. Yeah. Of people dying. So, like, 
if that grotesque shit can get on the internet, I guess anything can. I mean, they used to have something like that back in the day, I believe it used to be called, Donnie, if you can quote me, um, Face is a Death. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? I do remember that, yeah. And that shit was insane. And they like, say it was real. Yeah. So. You, I mean, you ugh. literally see people, like, getting lined up against a wall and shot. Uh, and all types fucking of- hell, yeah. But again, like, you see that in movies, too. So, like, could it have been fake? You fucking pray. But I mean, Lord knows. Real. There was like seven, you think it was real, real? And they were like VHS. Only. This is back VHS days. VH. What? You know, I would have assumed <laughs> that it was in the internet days because I feel like the internet's the Wild West. So that was VHS. It was definitely uh, AOL times. AOL. Bing. For sure. <laughs> we all heard that. We're like, let me have some titties. I can't wait for this modem to dial up. It's going to take 10 minutes and I'm going to sit here. <laughs> You know, did you have you uh, have you been doing porn as long as VHS porn was being made? Were you a, were you a so part I've of that era? I've been doing it for twelve years, and it was definitively DVD then. But yeah. you know, so, like the middle of the country, so behind, they probably still put it on VHS. You know what like, I mean? I feel like like uh, at the end, you know, I feel like uh, like when somebody says they've been in it twelve years, you got to kind of treat it like dog years. If they're twelve, it they're really twenty four. Po- no, really, it's like you got to double it up. Because porn years are like dog years. <laughs> I think it's like times seven for a. Do- I've been doing it's this for ninety five years, say, it's basically. Gotta be at least, it's got to be at least times two, right? Yeah. For a human in porn, you yeah. Because the especially for now male performers often have like like johnny sins how long has he been doing it kieran Mm. lee manuel tony rebus you know some of these guys Mm. have been doing it for decades but other than like nina hartley julia ann there aren't that many women who have been doing it for decades and decades i I don't know why i love it I love it like the men love it, I guess. Yeah. You, <laughs> I'm just like still here. Would you, what do you think about, I mean, I guess it's been, it's so far out the game. It would just be dope to see somebody like sell actual, uh, like sell actual units like VHS or DVD, like it used to be. I you know, have, you can a, I have a pile store. of DVDs in my garage yeah. from back in the day that I don't really know what to do with. Yeah, it's crazy, like, right? How it's changed. Who, I mean, unless you have, like, a PlayStation, who can even play a DVD anymore? Unless you got, like, a real DVD player for yeah. real Blu-ray. Yeah, you went to a pawn shop, you found it, it may or may not That's work. That's about where it's going to be. You know what I mean? That's about where it's going to be. Yeah. It's just crazy to watch Um, the, just the transition overall of oh. how you put out content or even film or anything of that nature. Your uh, recordings, your boy of rap, yes. your music, whatever. Everything's went so digital, man. Fast. And then now AI. Yeah, you know that that's going to come moving. into my job. There's a whole um, How do you platform. Guys? So there's a whole platform I'm thinking of joining up with called uh, JOI City, mm-hmm. and basically it's a metaverse, right? I was just talking to one of my yes. friends about that today. It's crazy. They're Isn't trying to it? have her. Uh, They'd my scan homegirl, you. My homegirl Riley Rabbit. Shout out to her. I was talking to her today. And she was asking me, like, hey, do you have an entertainment lawyer that can read this contract for me? And it was a contract stating of her to come down. They wanted her to come down, I guess, to L.A. Yeah. and do the A.I. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, they sound like they want the, my IGs. Like, they they want everything. Mm-hmm. Like, they want to claim everything. And she was like, Gotta I don't really careful. understand the language. But Always like, have an entertainment lawyer this, read it. And, and pretty <clears throat> much they're going to put these A.I.s in brothels and in places like That's this right. you know and it's like where does that really leave because it's it's virtual right it's That's all right. virtual so it's like where does that really leave the genuine overall real experience of actually engaging yeah, with somebody with a like human. a Cherie DeVille. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if they, like, I want to go meet her. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to see her. I want to feel that like presence. in real life, not in, that's such I'm old. I'm Gen X, right? So yeah. I like person to person. I'm not even a big texter. I'll do a yeah. phone call. I'm one of those crazy people. But you have to understand there's a whole new group of people coming That's up. That's not crazy. Who you're, are, you're, you're, you're real and you came from that yeah. era where, hey, you want to say something? Pick up Let's the hang phone. out. Yeah. Do we have a problem? We're not going to ghost each other. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about it. Even if you get mad at me, I'm comfortable with that. Right, you know what right. I mean? <laughs> but there's a whole new generation of people coming up who are more comfortable on their screens. So I think, you know, despite what I feel about it, I think the metaverse or AI or, you know, owning, that's what I would tell your friend. If she's going to let herself be scanned, you know, in any 
in any way, she needs to make sure that any contract she signs leaves her with the rights to her digital self, leaves her with the rights to her voice, all those other things that they might try and take away. Because if you go and you get scanned and you just own that one piece of content and you didn't read the fine print, and now they have access to a digitized version of you that they can reproduce and heaven forbid use your voice, you're done. Because we're at the cusp right now. Like you would be able to own you, a digitized podcast, or you could, you know, have guests from around the world that were also their avatars. But if you signed a contract that signed away your likeness in that That's space, crazy you'd be to break fucked. It down so like, like that. you got to break it down like That's that because this is all brand new, and you know these first companies are going to want that. Right, and they're, they're gonna, gonna get it. They're from gonna some. get some slimy slime in that contract, and unless mm-hmm. you are a fucking lawyer, which I am not, yeah. I would pay. Look, it's worth a couple thousand dollars to, to maintain your brand. Man. Because what right. if all our brands are digital in the future, and you don't seems even fucking like own coming. that? It, it, I mean, I'm gonna be real, Sheree. It seems like it's coming. I think it's, it's coming. Its, it's on I think its, it's, way. on its way. You know, and it's like this. <clears throat> I just don't want it to hurt what you and others have built right. throughout this time. I want you know? it to enhance it. Yeah. You know, I want I want like the best case scenario where I can do my own stuff in real life and I can run and manage, we'll just call it my avatar right. in a digital space right. the way that I want to, yeah. you know, and keep the money so that like even when I'm 80, she can be taking three dicks in her ass when I'm too old to do that. You know what I mean? Hey, do you know what shit. I mean? Like, I mean, by the time it it might it's be, on its way. It might be, it might, instead of like, everyone's so ru- worried that it's going to ruin everything, but what if it created more longevity? Like, who knows? Mm. You know, maybe it'll be good. Maybe you'll be able to, you know, even if you're like, 95 and you couldn't get here to the studio, maybe you'll be able to do these from your home, from your bed, and have your, like, spunky, lively avatar there because your brain is what they need. They need your brain, you know? And I I think that um, you're hitting home with that because I'm like, it's... I I just feel like the early stages of AI and them bringing this, like you said, almost like an avatar, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bringing this to life. I just don't want to see it take away from the actual person itself or like you know where they own you what if there's something in that contract we're like we don't just there own your will avatar be. we own you your person how you yes. move what you do well especially if the future of entertainment is digital if they mm. only own that they might that might be kind of everything so like i would say now that it's starting to cross over into like adult and entertainment spheres mm read those contracts with a fine tooth comb. And if you have to add a paragraph for clarity, because no one knows what this space will turn into, add it, protect yourself. Because I think you're absolutely correct in that a lot of people, performers, entertainers, whoever, are gonna sign contracts that seem good in 2023 without acknowledging technology is going to continue getting bigger, wilder, crazier, and might end up signing away future rights for shit they didn't even know it exists. So, like, be careful. Like, do you feel like a person like Cherie DeVille, the brand, you know what I'm saying, is yeah. prepared and ready to take this transition? Hopefully my lawyer is. <laughs> I can't read those him. contracts for shit. No, not even the contract. Brandon, help me. <laughs> not, even, not even the contract, but just oh, in general. you having to deal with that and take that transition. You know, it's going to be different it is going to be different and i don't know about your space but the adult space Mm. is constantly changing so even though i would prefer to just do the wake up do the same thing every day go to bed i love being a creature of habit that's not realistic in the adult space Mm. even in the 12 years that i've been in every two to three years everything seems to implode then you figure yourself out and you do something new so it feels like every few years if you're going to survive, you're going to have to seriously transition. So even though I'm not like, yay, let's learn something new, basically like going back to college. Because you got to do it. If it but you got to do it. Don't we all say, Cherie, like, uh, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now, you also can't fall behind. Just because my too. like current workflow isn't broken, it's doing great. I don't. I mean, I may be old, but I don't want to be behind the times. But you, you always know what I mean? come up with new things. And like you said, exactly. you were like, well, Sharp, I'm 
why stay going is because I come up with new things to give my fans. Yeah. Like it's almost like you gift them things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, got something new going on for yeah. us instead of just the same, same old Same tired stuff every, over and over, over and over. That's gotta yeah. be tiring for you. Honestly, it's inspiring because I think I would get bored too. That's why like I said if it I, would be tiring yeah, for you too. It would be. You'd be I'd like, be I like, don't wanna do I that can't. shit. It would be. Because I know absolutely you, right. you, you doing content and I've learned you, you look for the excitement through it. You know yes. what I'm saying? It's got to be exciting or you're not I into it. I want joy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You like, wanna why? Cry. You want to yes. get nailed to the fucking I want, wall. like, why I not? Her, bro. You know? I know you her. You know? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. She wants to feel yeah. that shit. That would be a shame if, like, my world were totally digital and I didn't yeah. get to get fucked anymore. That's what, listen, listen. And that's why I bring it up to you. Ooh. That's why I felt like Ooh. you didn't thoroughly answer when I, I was didn't. like. I didn't. You, you just got me there. You just got me there. Are you prepared for that? Because now uh. you're just going to be doing content for the AI. You're just going to be up in there getting scanned and doing different fucking different moves and different shit for them to Ooh. put on there. You're not even going to be a part of anything, really. One, I wonder. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know anything about the technology. I wonder if you could, like, like say you invite another human in. You have sex on the green screen or with whatever scanning thing they have. Mm -hmm. And then you can create the background or where you are. I wonder yeah. if I, I, you're right though. It would be really, really sad if it took away, not that I can't have sex in my private life and I do, but there's something really fun about like the role play level of on camera sex. Right. I like, remember like you, said that you don't even before. like, you don't necessarily know the person that well, yeah. you know, there's all these levels of intrigue, at least for me. I, you think know. It, I think it's once they, and this it's kind of sad for the performer that does <laughs> actually like to be a part of the content, is once they scan you, they'll make your body do whatever. It's I like wonder, you won't even they have might. To, you that would be a shame. You don't even have to go in there anymore. Like once they scan you and, hey, you just sit it on Now you're paid. just riding that virtual car. Which is cool. Sad at home with no dick. Which is cool, but I know that there's some, <laughs> I, I feel like some performers or people that, you know, do porn, especially for a woman, and mm. this is my personal opinion. Yeah. I feel like a lot, some, but some of them they like the attention. Yeah, they like the attention it brings. They like to sure. feel loved. They like to feel wanted. Well, in that, I love in that people. Moment. Like right. I'm even You're just being person. here in this room with humans yeah. brings me energized. Like I'm energized. I feel joyful. Like I just you say that like you're an alien. Be, I know, right? Like I like to be in a I room like to with be humans. in a room with humans. <laughs> humans make me happy. Dude, it's fucking awesome. Like people's energy is food to me. Yeah. Yeah. And sexual energy is on another level. So right. I'm not meant to be I don't honestly think any people are meant to be isolated the way a lot of people are isolated today. Mm. I, I don't think Elaborate it's healthy. Some. Talk about it. Well, just like think about like most mammals have communities. We yeah. get like even if you're just thinking science, right. like during this conversation, we're our brains are feeding us dopamine. They're feeding us happiness yeah. because as human animals, we need to want to be together because that's how we make more people. That's how we build communities to survive. That's how we fight off predators. So if our like brain chemistry didn't make us love being with people, we would not have made it as a species. So you're this taking this species true. who needs dopamine and instead of giving them dopamine through human interaction, which is my jam, they get dopamine through like likes on Instagram and like other stuff with their cell phone. And like, while you might technically be provided with dopamine like that's not how it was meant to be for me that's not fulfilling at all yeah you know you said it's not a life worth fucking living no, at all not to me yeah. if i were just stuck in a room with some devices even if i was connected to other people with those devices you don't seem like that type of person oh, Sheree. God, i'm gonna be no. honest from a year ago i would first melt You'd fucking die. I would you melt away. Have, like it, being in the porn industry for you, and you couldn't have interaction. And they say, "Hey, well, your AI is gonna take over." I don't even know where the I'd fuck be would they leave you. I'd like, need some mental health counseling. I'd be depressed. Wow. Honestly, I really think I, I no, would. I believe it. No yeah. jokes. No, no yeah. laughing. I believe it. I need. I'm a person who really needs other people. Yeah, and not just for like. Everyone loves validation. Everyone loves positive reinforcement. I just, I just need them to exist. You know, I yeah. need to talk to people and to touch people and to like listen to people and hear their stories. It's just, yeah, it's everything for me. 
That's a mm-hmm. that's interesting that you say that because you're like I don't care about the how they. I just want to be around. I just want to. You want to feel the vibe. It you want to feel the energy. Good. You yeah. Know? To you me. don't have too many people that walk around that's just like, hey, you know, I get off on the energy people put out around me. You yeah. Know? You don't really you hear can feel that too it. much. You know, you can feel it, right? Yeah. You can feel the war in this room even right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who have you been? Um, who have you been shooting with lately? Who's been like um, some of your favorite people to be, do work with lately? I met a new performer that's really, really good. Brand new guy, content yeah. creator. His name is so funny. It's his stage name is Max Phils, yeah. but it's always Max Phils, your mother or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this young one that loves a cougar. And I yeah. love a guy that loves I, a cougar. I, I, and I love that you were going to, but I was thinking more <laughs> of companies you've been working with. Brassers, that's it. I'm yeah. contracted. They're my one and only. You've been getting awards from fucking everybody. Yeah. The fuck? The fuck? Brazzers have awards. given me good scenes. They've been yeah. giving me award-winning scenes. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So you've been Brazzers doing pretty good with them. all day, every day. How long you been, so what you been in, um, how long is your contract with them? Like, you sign like it a renews, lifetime joint? I wish, I would. <laughs> I, I would, Brazzers, would. I would. Um, but no, they renew my contract every six months, so I gotta, I gotta hustle. Yeah. Got to keep on my hustle. Yeah. And see, I think that's mm-hmm. what kind of probably, that's what keeps you hungry, right? It's like, because you they're, know they're you not gotta, dumb. They're not dumb. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I can't just keep putting out the same content. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's not going to be, it, it's accepted, but for how long, right? Yeah. And then, of course, I have my own content on my OnlyFans yeah. and all my little sites. And I yeah. get, that's where I get to do, that's where I get to buy all my little props. That shit's crazy. <laughs> like, you be buying staffs and fucking, I'm like, what's she going to dress up next? <gasps> Zena, the warrior doing? princess? Like, I would. I would. <laughs> Man, like, <laughs> fucking the role play. And what's crazy about it is you do it all by yourself. Or maybe yeah. one of your homegirls. She'll pop up. I see exactly. you do a lot of work with one other chick. Like, you guys hang out a lot. I, Alexis Fox, Danny Daniels. Those I, are, believe, I do so much content with both of those ladies. There was one girl that you did. You've done a ton with. Like, just on your Instagram, you guys be playing Danny around. Danny Daniels. It's got to be you Danny guys Daniels. each other shit. Yes, Remember it's Danny Christmas, Daniels. Yeah, yes, she's, she's my Shout best friend. Shout out to Danny Daniels, She's man. my best friend. Should have brought her ass. Am I? She's all the way in so stupid Florida, her. Florida. Hey, you got to bring her next Florida. time. Florida, I fucking I haze her on the show. I know. She, she'll <laughs> haze you right back. She has a mouth on her. I love, do you want to hear a story about Danny Daniels? Talk this to is me. so. I'm a big wimp. She's a badass. Okay, right. so I'm brand new to porn, right? Mm-hmm. And since I didn't have anywhere to stay in LA, and I wasn't living in LA, I was living in Nashville. A lot of agencies, including mine, have a model house, right? So great. So I'm there. I got my little bedroom. I'm in the model house. And Danny Daniels is also in the model house at this time. And we're already like getting on great. The two other girls in the model house, however, and I don't even know who these women are. They're not in porn anymore, are getting in this huge fucking fight. And they end up hitting each other, like physically getting in a fist fight, punching each other. So I'm like this like girl from Nashville going, the fuck have I gotten myself into? These two bitches are fighting. So I, (laughs) in true Sheree fashion, hide behind the kitchen island. I'm like, Absolutely. Like a good hole. Let I'm me stay hide. about this shit. Like, ain't got nothing to do with me. Baby, I'm hiding. <laughs> Danny Daniels comes bursting out of her bedroom, separates these two bitches, gets my agent. She's got my agent on the phone on her ear. She's holding the two women apart. Sandra, you got to get over here. They're fighting. And I'm like, good job from behind the island and then i'm like this Scary girl's gonna be ass. my best friend well <laughs> you, now that that's your friend and your best friend you can't allow that shit to happen anymore <laughs> if she's in the mix of some shit you need to be right there with her like hey hold oh the fuck god. on you know oh god step the fuck up i should i'm such a baby Stop being that way i'm no, a baby i'm not letting you do that no more. you help me I, give listen, me lessons i'm gonna tell you this Give me I, really, help. I really want to do something, Sharina. I, I want to know. I want to hear your opinion because you are one of my people. I will. Like, you're one of my people. I was thinking about doing something like a Sharps boot camp. I need it. I need, you like, know? some self-defense lessons other than hide behind the kitchen counter. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you this. That's not the move. Well, I'll tell you this. I feel like the, the, the strongest thing on you is your mind. So if you can Thank move you. your mind in the right direction, you can always. It, it's the strongest thing with you. I don't you want know? someone to hit this moneymaker. I know, baby. I know. <laughs> I fucking know it. <laughs> Women are fierce when they See, fight. They're that's fierce. That's what I like about you. Yeah. You know what the fuck sells. She's like, nah, probably can't do I'm that. I'm trying to 
get punched in the face? Some of these chicks are crazy, though. They don't mm. mind, like, being fucked up and thinking that they can go, like, you okay. sell your beauty. You know what I'm saying? You're, you sell your beauty, stitches. so you got to keep your body together. Yes. You can't be Work having out. a scene for Brazzers at 10 o'clock in the morning, and you just you got a fucking black eye from the night before. That's like, absurd. It's not going to. That's, that's gonna, absurd. I don't think I've ever seen anybody. Donnie, I hear you back there chuckling. That's absurd. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a porn where I'd be like, damn, what happened to that bitch? Yeah, unless it was drawn she on. black eye. Yeah. Like, I mean, I well, know there's role play. they would cancel you. Yeah, I, they would cancel you. I'd be like, you. I don't think you're going to make it too far fighting in the porn industry because <laughs> everybody over there in the porn game is, you guys are very peculiar people. So it's We're, a little we are. weird. You know what I'm saying? We it's, are. It's weird. Each in our it's a own weird way. mixture. Yeah. And it's not about fighting to you guys. You guys. No. We're lovers. Fight We're not you. fighters. I'm going to fuck yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a scene with this person. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a scene with this person. I know you've been one one, so I'm going to fuck him first. Oh, God. So, you fuck him first. I'll fuck him second. As long as I get that dick, let's just chill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a deep breath, ladies. See, she's We're all Net- gonna get the dick. Will you please yeah. tell them you're not a Netflix and chill. You're a dick and chill. Yeah, dick and chill. Dick and chill. Or pussy. Man. I'm equal opportunity. <laughs> I'm equal opportunity. I probably well, if it weren't for porn, I'd say I'd been with way more women than men. But now I think the tables have turned. Yeah. <laughs> now I've lost count. Would you consider yourself? Um, is that what you would call a pansexual? Is that what that is? Like you just do you have? Yeah. Any, so like when I was you really pansexual? young, I thought. Uh, these the words have changed since I was young. So when I was really young, I thought I was bisexual, right? Right, right. And then someone told me that because I do enjoy dating and having sex with trans people, that I was pansexual. Whoa! So I was like, I didn't That's know cool. that you took a little bit of lady dick. In oh the yeah, mix. yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Come on. Absolutely. Sheree. Yeah. Again, equal opportunity. Jesus Christ. Equal opportunity. And then somebody <laughs> told me, and I'm not sure this is true, I'll have to ask the Googles, but that I'm maybe not pansexual, that I'm just queer. But, like, when I was young, if you called someone queer, that was offensive. It was offensive. I so mean, like, I would still find it offensive today. Right, so I'm, I'm yourself, not sure I'm, like, I'm comfortable saying queer. I think I'm just pansexual. Yeah. But I, I got to tell you, the pansexual flag is not as cute as the bisexual flag, and that's disappointing. <laughs> Elaborate, please. I mean, yeah, I've never. Yeah, so the bisexual flag is so cute because it has like red and blue and then like purple in the middle, like red and blue together is purple. Like that's hella cute. So you chose and then... over the damn colors. So? <laughs> <laughs> You fucking irritate so, my soul. So. You fucking irritate my soul. <laughs> She's and like, then, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. But I guess, yes, even though I do sport a lot of bisexual gear, I mm. am pansexual. So there it is. But, like, men and women should include trans men and women. So bisexual should still count, but I guess it doesn't. Because, like, trans woman, woman, whatever, woman. Man, woman. What's up with the... I got to ask you because you're a fucking weird one. So I got to ask <laughs> I love you, it. Bring so it. I, I am a weird one. Me, I accept this. Because I'm, I'm asking Noah a real question. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you can you can maybe mm-hmm. help me clarify how... Because I, I, I want to know. Yeah. Like, what's up with this, like, pronoun shit of the her, her, he... Like, what's up with yeah. all that? Like, people are, like, labeling their stuff. Like, when they... Like, I had somebody send me... Um, a contract, and I had to look over this contract sure. for this movie. And the person, like, before they put their name, they put her slash she, then her name. Yeah. It was kind even, of, um, you know what I'm saying? It was weird. Yeah, so, it, like, so are doing even my uh, pronoun shit today. Yeah, yeah. Even my uh, a good friend of mine <clears throat> is a professor of anthropology at UCLA, and it's mandatory for all staff at the end of every email as part of their signature to have their pronouns. Yeah. That so I think that's just, insane. I think that's just the way it is now. You know, I think that that that's, that's definitely um, in porn when we do our consent checklists, Yeah, it'll be a full checklist of like the normal sex acts. Like, are you doing fingering, squirting, fisting, you know, whatever you're doing and not doing, you talk about it. And as part of that consent list within the past I want to say maybe like three years. Yeah. Uh, pronouns is part of that consent list. I that's crazy. Yeah. Like oh, and yeah. I felt like you've maybe seen it because you you deal with a lot of people that you know what I'm saying they're walking around that have with a variety that, of pronouns. Have a v- Absolutely. Of pronouns. Yeah. 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 Like and I just I didn't understand why they're using it now. Like what's the you know I think people just want to feel uh, you'd have to ask like I'm just she her I feel like I was you know born 
and still accept my gender. So right. like I didn't have to go through any transition. Yeah. So I might not be the best person to speak on this. Right. But it seems like from my friends, they just want to feel like they're truly embodying their real selves. You know what I mean? And they'd like to be addressed as their real selves and I not have to hide it. It makes sense. And I'm going to break it down for the like people that... Like it's shameful or something. It's not I, shameful. I'll bring it, I, I think we, you helped yeah. me out with that and I can break it down maybe more in the layman's terms yeah, for yeah. people. I think it's more of people want... if Like say for instance, if this woman wants to be a lesbian and she dresses like a man, she wants to be addressed as a man. She doesn't want to be addressed like when I be like this, we're going to the store. Well, she wants this from the store. That's not how she... Right. She if wants if to be addressed, it's if a person he, wants you know? to be addressed as he him, they should be able to be addressed as he him. Like yeah. your genitals don't define your gender; they define your genitals, like your sex. Right. So, like, you could have a penis, you could have a vagina, you could have both, but that has nothing to do. Like, I have a vagina, and my gender, I feel, yeah. is female. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I Those you. things are not the same thing. Yeah. I, I, I have to speak on it because I'm like, if you want to be gay, be gay. Well, there's or not. Nice, there's yeah. nice, and there's, hey, look, there's there's nice gay looking men, pause, nice uh, gay looking women, pause. You could still be you. Mm -hmm. at, like, you could still be you and still be that. I mm -hmm. don't understand why we have to go so far to change it. Like, Why don't you, know you think it's saying? gay? Like, Cause be like, who you are. Like, I, hey, I'll still shake your hand. I'll still be cool with mm -hmm. you. I'm not homosexual. Like, I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah, where yeah. I, I have a problem with them. Nothing. Like, be yourself. You can walk up. Yeah, I'm gay. Be your authentic be self. Be your authentic self. Yeah. Like, what are you running from in that? Like, what are you so afraid of? Like, why can't you just... I thought gay people yeah. were supposed to be free. It's supposed to be alive, mm -hmm. strong. It's mm -hmm. full of life. Mm -hmm. Be you. Yeah, I think Make people be authentically who the you. Fuck you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that way there is no difference or because like I feel like now they're just it's it's changing up so much you're not about to know who's fucking who. I don't even think it's about gay or straight. Like I think there's lots of gay men born as men who still identify as male. Like yeah. you could only want to date boys and identify as male, right. or you could only want to date boys and be non white Like, do you know what I mean? I think it's just, I feel like it's just a way, again, someone else is probably better to, to feel like fucking seen and to force like these old, like to use their words, these old fucking boomers to get with the program. Like it's not all about the way that you and your puritanical America with all your fucking yeah. rules, how you're like trying to, make gay people less than women less than minorities yeah. less than people of color less than i think this is the way of the next generation raising up and being like no we're going to be exactly who we want to be and you guys are just going to have to swallow it because we're the future you and know? you know i'm listen to me and i'm all for yeah that, yeah right i'm all for that but be real with yourself be real i feel like mm -hmm. when you start to try to jump out the box can't that kind of turn into a sickness? It's kind of like a sickness to me. It's mm. like, be who you are. You feel like you were born gay? Cool. You feel like you were born lesbian? Cool. Mm -hmm. You feel like you were born bisexual? Mm -hmm. cool. But be what God made you, at least. You still be that person, but you don't have to. Am I making sense? Like, And I love the LGBTQ mm. community. Love them. I love for who everybody stands for in themselves. But when you start to try to switch it up, like it's like, now you're confusing me. I don't know what you want to be. Well, just because God gave me a vagina, like what if I identified in a more masculine way and I wanted to That's wear fine. a prosthetic penis and I wanted to be called <sighs> him? I, th I think it's cool. But I God think... never made that. Well, maybe part right? of my problem is I don't believe in God. So I feel I like, w then that's totally fine. Whoa, I she feel said, like, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, I'm that's... not trying to diss, like a lot of people are religious <laughs> and I'm not trying to like get on I, anyone's. I'm not, I'm not yeah, yeah. To me. I'm yeah. not a big church goer. I don't yeah, go yeah. to church every Sunday. I don't, but I feel like somebody made this, Cherie, this wasn't an accident. Mm. None of this was an accident, okay? So it, 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 even if you don't believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say there has to be some higher being that has made all this. This has already been thought of. I believe, Every bit of it. I believe in purely evolution. You feel like so, we just got made out of matter just to spark this thing? No, you, big no bang I think theory? it took I think it took hundreds of thousands of years 
to slowly evolve into this creature that we are today. And I think our genitals, penises and vaginas, are useful tools for procreation. Mm. And that now that we have these big, beautiful, amazing brains, that we can have whatever genitals we want and use our big, amazing brains to feel any fucking way we well, want I've about it. To feel like a woman, to feel like a man, to feel like a whatever. They have came up to where, yeah, a man can cut his genitals off and actually have a vagina. Sure. But I haven't seen him be able to attach a penis just yet. So yeah, we have know. to still have some faith here, right? We still got something left, you know? <laughs> we still fucking got something, man. I, I feel like we're, you know... Like, I think humans are fucking awesome I love in humans. that we have such big brains I compared to humans. other mammals i love humans i love the human mind i'm fascinated yeah. with the way it works yeah you know i almost want to go to school for psychology like i want to yeah. i'm fascinated with how the mind works you know and what even sparks some of these thoughts in some people yeah i just love i mean this is probably part of me being a pornographer i just love as long as you're not hurting anyone letting everyone just do them you know what I mean? You want to smoke some weed? Awesome. You want right. to live in a hut in the middle of nowhere? Fucking cool. You want to be that. a man? You want to be a woman? I feel that. You want to suck dick on camera? Like, as long as you're happy and no one's being harmed, like, we only, I don't even believe in an afterlife, so I really think that we should just live, 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 live. Hey. And whatever that means to hey, you, I'm going like somewhere. for Should it. No. I'm just beautifully Baby for girl, it. Baby girl, let me tell you something. Yeah. There is a, I, I do believe and and I, because I am a god, I do believe in God. I yeah. do, I'm a God fearing man. Yeah, yeah. You know, naturally, just sure. I think it's just in me to be that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like there is a higher place. There's somewhere we're going after this. I, it can't be. I want that for you, to be true. To me, listen to me. Yeah. For us to accumulate the knowledge that we do, being on this earth for God, for how many ever many years that you're that here, we get. and just for it to just go into blackness and into darkness and into Sad. nothingness, I don't believe that. It would be tragic. That right? It's tragic. So it has to be something. This I feel like maybe this is just um, just step one, right? This is level one. God, right I here. hope so. I hope I die and realize you're right. I really hope I'm wrong. Well, you come, I really come pray. Visit, come visit me in the afterlife. I'll pray to your God for an afterlife. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, you know what? As long as you, hey, you know what I love about you because even though you, you say you're so open, you're like, I don't believe in God, you're willing to believe with well, me. Well, I do know me. that I don't know. How would I know? Right. How would I know? Right. It, I, I wish I believed. I can say I don't believe, but I really hope you're right because my version is way sadder. Your version is way cooler. Yeah. That it's there's an afterlife be, is way there has cooler. To be, this was, and I, and I don't want to sound redundant and keep going, but I'm like, this has to be. This shit was thought of. This from these microphones to this room, it's all mathematics. Everything has its 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 meaning and its reason of even being here. Hell, even flies have a reason to be here. Something that bothers people the most, you mm. know what I'm saying? Flying around your house, <laughs> everything has everything has a reason for being here. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, we did everything. all evolve. So, and we did all evolve with a purpose, even if it wasn't a higher ordained purpose, it's at least an evolutionary purpose yeah. or a niche where we fit into the environment that we've been given. Yeah. So I believe that for sure. Yeah. yeah. I love having these yeah. conversations yeah. with you because we, we sit back. I want and, you to be right though. Oh, and you know mm. what? It, mm -mm -mm. it makes me feel good that you are willing to at least accept. You're like, okay, well, well it's not it impossible. Show me like it, it needs to show me you're, you're a person like you like to be shown. You know, yeah, just like I have friends and I love hearing their stories that believe in like ghosts and supernatural stuff. And I don't. Yeah. But I really enjoy hearing their experiences and like listening to those stories. And it doesn't mean I don't find it exciting or intriguing. Yeah. But unless I were to have a supernatural experience, I just can't believe it. But I'm here to entertain it. I'm here to hear about it. I'm here to listen to you in a non judgmental way, you well, know? All right, let's let's take a let's take a change in events. I <clears throat> I got a question for you. Like, since you know some of that you may or may not believe in, mm. I know you believe in a love life. What's that been like for I you? I do. What's I love that, intimacy. What's I mean, that I been love, like for you? I love sex, and I've been really blessed to have a lot of amazing sexual partners. Mm -hmm. And something that can happen with sex, but can also happen 
uh, which I do have in my <laughs> private life, is is intimacy. So sometimes yeah. at work and at home, I have both carnal and intimate sex. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I just have intimate sex. And I feel like for me, I, I have a partner. I've had the same partner for 10 years. And I feel like that gives me uh, that that emotional intimacy so that I don't the always same motherfucker find for 10 years for 10 years like on some intimate shit like on, yeah like you know yeah, like I, I know like we grown. emotional we're grown, so we're I grown can adults exactly yeah what you're saying you like no where you're don't. vulnerable yeah it, it's yeah. spontaneous you're like yeah. this ain't for no camera no. this isn't for no scene we're shooting we're gonna experiment we're, we're gonna ex we're gonna feel experience. ourselves we're gonna really like and I feel like a lot of people can't do this, but like be like present, like for however long that lasts, like be here with me yeah. and nowhere else. I think it's that's so why intimate. I've noticed a lot of um, a lot of people in the porn industry, yeah. like women preferably that's been in a while. I notice like when they have sex with a partner, like off camera and away yeah. from it, they don't want them drinking, smoking. They want them sober normal yeah they they want it i think it makes them get i want off your to know whole self that a person all of it all the oh way it's there it's hot it's like no drinking yeah no smoking just us it's beautiful being intimate me knowing that your mind's there i think that's what turns the other person on that's been in it for so long yeah like, no i've been with people that are doing drugs they're fucking or whatever it is yeah to, yeah to get them to this mode why can't we just be here because we're here and and because like there's something about like deep vulnerability yeah. that I find so sexy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. like there aren't many people in my life who like get to see every single ugly, beautiful corner. Well, you know what I mean? Vulnerability is supposed to be <clears throat> special, right? Yeah. Because it's you catching that person when they took the armor off and they've set the armor to the side. Yeah, your and mask you wear every fucking you know day, saying? that they, exhausting mask. Yeah. yeah. You've you've had to be one that's had to put on some emotional makeup sometimes. Of course, who hasn't? You I know, mean, just to put a smile on, even when you felt low, the energy was low on the right, inside that day. Right, and not just, not just in porn, but even as a physical therapist. Yeah. You know, like maybe, maybe your home life has fallen apart. And you got to go in and you got to treat those patients and yeah. you have to be motivational, yeah. professional, yeah. attentive, present. Like sometimes you have to put that mask on, yeah. you know, because that's yeah. you're not you're not doing the people that you've made promises to a service. Right. If you can't put your shit aside for a minute, go to work, do your job or whatever task it is. And then hopefully you're a person who has someone else that you can be vulnerable with. So you don't have well, to be 24 seven, like I this fucking like, character. I feel like it may be hard for somebody who's in the industry of porn to go home. And the, I would think that the last thing, <clears throat> I mean, unless like you, I, there's people that really love each other and they really fuck with each other. So I guess that doesn't yeah. matter, but there's some people that come home from, they've had a, a, a shoot all day, Big day and their man wants to still get it in here. Like, sure. I'm tired. Like, sure. I, the last thing I want to see is that can me spreading happen. my legs again and doing like, you know, it, how do you separate that? Like from going home and being like, okay, this is real versus I know what I just did on camera. I'm going home to kind of do the same thing. Hell, I might even turn around and split it like I just did. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Does that so, not fuck with your mind a little bit? For me, it doesn't. Because Nothing every you, person Sheree, is so I, different. <laughs> but no, but I see what you're saying. Like, let's, yeah. let, let's just be like, like, let's just put it in like the most crass way. Say yeah. Yeah. I did like a double penetration scene and my vagina and asshole are sore. It's not even fucking about emotions. Stop, Sheree. Remember right? we're in the sharp tank and we're you're the, talking yeah. to sharp. You right. get very and fucking I'm sore. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just got fucked. Okay. So like, I can't fuck in those holes again. But what could I do? Maybe I could give my partner a sensual massage. Maybe I could, we could do mutual masturbation. Maybe I could use my mouth. Maybe I could give them a hand what job. Maybe I could. To put all into your pink and the other that stinks that day. Then he's like, gonna, that's then, what I want then today. Just like, what if, what if, what if you are exhausted after today? Like you're just fucking emotionally and physically done. And for whatever reason, even though your lady is home, yeah. spread eagle yeah. and wants it all, you're just like, 
look, I had the most emotional day in my life. And even though I love you, like, I, I can't. I can't emotionally and physically do that for you today. Like, if you have a lover, that has to be okay. You can't be, you can't be someone's fucking sexual dildo 24-7. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's not appropriate. It's true. That's not appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all ever notice she like, talks like a real concerned mother, huh? That's I know, not I know. That's not appropriate. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Look, I got that mom energy from here till tomorrow. <laughs> but see, that's another question for you. Does that cause, like, how does that, like, because I, I care about how you feel through all this. How does yeah. that make you feel to, like, it's like it never turns off? Like, like if the that sex the never game. turned and, off? Yeah, like just the role play, like of just always having to be America's stepmom. I know well, it I'm was not. like to have to be some bitches pimp. Yeah. I don't know what it's like. So like it's like well, how even do you like, feel? Like, like I I'm sure ask. like this version of you is like a heightened version of the real you. Yeah. Just like Cherie is a heightened version of the real me. Yeah. Like when I'm on or off. And I think like my family and my friends that are close to me, like they get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a, not all, but a lot of my friends are entertainers who like really get it. Mm. You know what I mean? So I try and surround myself with people who like aren't going to be an asshole about like, look, I'm emotionally run down or I'm physically run down or like I just had like this crazy day that I barely made it through. And yeah. now I'm just going to like go be an introvert right for a whole day maybe well there's people that understand because they're doing the same thing as you yeah yeah but what if your partner doesn't he works a regular job you know that might not good work paying job good yeah paying job like he makes outstanding money sure right? he's fucking riding poor she's having his sure life. he doesn't really ask you for anything but when he wants you at home and you might need to go do a scene that mm -hmm. day you're like no this is gonna really this is my job this might solidify the next five years of right, what just I like, actually have going on. Like, say he's like a surgeon and he has like a big surgery to perform. Like, I would wouldn't want to keep him up till two a.m. sucking his dick. Up. It's fucked up though, like because you actually understand that he might not understand you. Then, the, mixture, then you we know? wouldn't get along. And it's kind then of then he wouldn't up. be but my what guy. If you guys do get along, Cherie. Like y'all are fucking perfect. It sounds together. like and the man you're talking about doesn't have the level of emotional intelligence I need. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. That's a lot of men. It right? is because what it is man, what man in his right state of mind is willing to ex the, the strongest man sure. in the world would break down and cry. Him sure. thinking about his woman getting fucking flustered and fucking pulverized sure. against the wall. Yeah, it's gonna fuck with and, his mind and a little I bit. Feel How about like, you, Hurley? You're gonna feel mm -hmm. a certain type of way, like, and you know what? And I'm gonna tell you this: it's not normal to feel like it's okay. Right. It's not normal, man. No man should have to do that, but it takes certain some kind of individuals like myself. You got to yeah. kind of be fucked up in the head a little bit, right? And I tell you what. To accept it. I blame the way that a lot of cultures <laughs> raises its men and women. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like we came think about the disaster that is the American heritage. Bunch of fucking conquerors come over. They destroy every of the cult, all the whole culture that's here. They bring their puritanical, misogynistic bullshit over. And then we, for the next couple hundred years, train our men to feel that way. What if, listen, what if it's this, right? My brain is wired the mm -hmm. way it is. Why do I accept the shit and feel so comfortable about it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the money. <laughs> When I was doing it. The money. Maybe oh the, my the, God. Maybe the drive for real of why <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really yeah. accepted it. Not the, the average man. Maybe is, the self confidence. Let's be real. You're maybe the introspective you are nature a that you are. You're a fucking woman. <laughs> you and I both know. No, that's, it's not normal. For in our culture, it's not. To, for a man to accept it's not. porn or not, woman selling her body it's or not. not, playing with herself on camera and right? selling it to people all over the We're, world. We train our men. We tell our men in this country and a lot of other countries, we tell them that women are property and that if your woman is doing something like that, you should be upset. And it, we go even further than that. We don't just say we sh you should be upset. We say it's a hit on your very masculine nature. That, mm. is, that is the dialogue that we're raising our children with and that has been the dialogue for generations. But like, 
I don't know about you, but I kind of reject that white puritanical come over on the Mayflower bullshit culture because that's not every I'm human you. culture. I'm you know you. what I mean? I think they've fed us well, a lot of lies well, about who's important. You. Well, let's really <laughs> think about it. I think that we probably would be more of we're the most flexible country when it does come to stuff like that. Because mm, it, I'll, one I'll of give you an I'll give you an yeah. example. Because when you go over to like uh, Arabic Islam, that's stuff like much that, tighter. Much that, shit that doesn't no fly. Play. Like, You'll get killed. She's not even allowed to show her face. No, let alone get her ass on right. the camera. And the level of spread, oppression, spread eagle. The 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 way that they dehumanize and put women down is a way bigger misogyny than we have here. But like, so you maybe, feel where I'm coming from. Maybe someday we'll go you, back to older cultures that held men and women equally. Or even women well, as the matriarch. It equally, it was that. It's now. been a long it's been, time. It's it's been that now. It's been hundreds but, of years. Yeah, but when you go back to the beginning of it, and you start to look at it. It's like the man but always ran the situation. Which right? beginning? The to beginning of the white United States, yes, but not the beginning of a lot of tribal nations. Well, if you look at it right, the man was the hunter. The woman was the one that cooked the meal. That the which hunter makes brought. sense. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. The man had to go get the meal. Mm -hmm. I get it's not like that mm -hmm. these days. You got women running the entire household. I heard uh, Gabrielle Union say about her ex, I think it was her ex-man that she was fucking with way before Dwayne Wade. She was like, she felt um, entitled to cheat because she was the one really? that was the bread. She was entitled like, the bread. to cheat. She's Breaking like, trust is bullshit. Because she said, she yeah. was like, well, I pay all the bills. She says, I pay for everything. She's like, I take care of everything 100%. So she's like, I feel like the person that's in the in the relationship that's doing the most is entitled to do something like that. Interesting. It's crazy. Interesting. Right? Yeah, I yeah. heard her say that. I was like, Whoa. I wouldn't be comfortable in that relationship, but I that's interesting. Either. Yeah, I wouldn't be comfortable yeah. in it either. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Yeah, you know? yeah, but it yeah. Was just fascinating. Me Sounds like she feels like you can breach trust that you have in a relationship just because you make money. I don't give money that kind of power. Right. Yeah. Talk your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Money, that kind of power. Over yeah. Me. That's that's real shit right there. You're like, if I want to be submissive to my man, yes. I'm going to be submissive to. Why him. not? I don't care if he's got a dollar or has a million. It's not That's money. That's not why you got with him. You know what right. I'm saying? You had to like something about yeah. the man. If it's just the money, money can leave tomorrow. Yes. That's why even when Money I was in comes the game, and goes. Listen, even when I was in the game, I'm mm -hmm. giving like I never, it's not about how much money I had in my pocket. It's about how much does that bitch really fuck with me? How much does she like me? Yeah. How much does she want Your to relationship. build? She don't matter. She won't mind actually being there to help me build because she wants to say that she was a part of helping the fucking building structure. Well, and I'm sure that helps her too. You know, yeah, the better it, everyone does, it, the better I, I feel it like goes. It makes a woman feel more secure in her situation, mm, in, in her position because she's like, okay. I really like a valuable him. member of the really, team. You're not going to get rid of a valuable member of the team. It secures really a position. You, build this. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I was there for all your happy shit. I was yeah, there yeah, for yeah. all your sad shit. So then you're not going to say, oh, well, next. Bye. Right. Yeah. Right. Have a Man. little bit of whatever you call it. Tenure. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know. I just always like and I'm sure it could sound like banter to a lot of the youngsters but like for the older people like we think about things like this you know everyone and, should and i feel like everybody should that's yeah. why i feel like me and you and in this conversation we brought transparency like a motherfucker yeah. to a yeah. lot of things Fuck. yes gen x I, yes hey. <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you this like i always say uh, and I bring people back, but like you're one of the first people like I've actually brought back. I was like, man, I'm so you, happy. I always brought you up. <laughs> you always came up in a lot of the conversations. I, I talked, like I said, talked to a lot of adult stars. You do, they, yeah. And a lot of them, they they play in the stepmom realm, and I'm like, well, oh yeah, you know, Sheree Deville. They're like, oh yeah, oh I yeah, know. Murder, OG stepmom, ho. <laughs> 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 she was fucking stepsons before it was cool. <laughs> man, the ball was cool, man. I, I would love, I would love for you to come back and I just, would love to. And and like, cause I feel like this wasn't. If it's more like a podcast setting of like me and you just kind of kicking game. I could. I feel like if you and I just like shared a joint, we could talk all day. All you come over to day. my pool, we would. That would be it. The sun would go down. We'd be man. like, what the fuck happened and, to the day? We talked it up all because you day. know what? It's good. <laughs> conversation you're good people overall mm -hmm. good people 
Yeah. You know we and were even bullshitting people. before we got online. You're like, save it, save yeah, it. I'm, I'm like, like, but I want to talk to you. I, know, I, talk I haven't to you seen too. you. I haven't seen you in a while, so it was good. Like I said, I was supposed to yeah. catch up with you at AVN. Yep. I know it didn't happen. I will AVN's definitely chaos. make sure. Yeah. I will definitely make sure next AVN. Yes, please. I catch up with we'll you. We'll party. We sit properly. Down, we have a drink. Yeah. And we just get to kick yeah. the shit. Bring yeah. some of your homegirls yes. and we'll do what it do. Yes. Cherie, I love you, sweetie. Yes, I love you. Thank you. I for love you to me. death. And I appreciate you for coming. Same. For real, man. Yeah. And just having your presence here and just giving some of your take on things. You You're know, fun to I, talk to. I feel like the mm-hmm. I feel like the viewers need it. And overall, man, they deserve some <laughs> fucking truth and transparency here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I bet you always give them that. <laughs> I, I have a feeling me. you don't bullshit people. <laughs> The Sharp Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world with America's favorite stepmom. Hey, Donnie, shoot us out the motherfucking gym.